Today, in general medicine, we are going to discuss infections. And the topics we are going to cover today are measles, rubella, chickenpox, typhoid, syphilis, and tuberculosis. In chickenpox, actually it is caused by varicella and reactivation of varicella causes shingles or herpes zoster. And the rashes appear on the second day after prodromal syndromes. And first appear on the trunk and it is centripetal in distribution. And new lesions appear every two to four days and the drug of choice is acyclovir. The next one that is rubiola is otherwise known as measles and it is caused by paramyxovirus and lesions begins on the fourth day and the maculopapular rashes starts from hairline behind the ears and then towards the trunk and it causes pneumonia leading to death and one of the most common complication is otitis media and the oral, uh, oral manifestation is complex spot and warten fringle disease cells are seen in measles and the next one is german measles that is rubella the maculopapular rash starts on the face then towards the trunk and it is caused by the rubella virus and uh, four shimmer spots seen in soft palate and the rubella in early pregnancy causes abortion, deafness, congenital diseases in pa patent ductus arteriosus and arterial septal defect. The next one is mumps. Actually it is caused by the same paramyxovirus. It causes bilateral palatal swelling with fever and malaise. In children it causes aseptic meningitis and in adolescent it causes ophritis and urkitis. The next one is typhoid. It is caused by Salmonella typhi and at the end of the first week rash appear on the upper abdomen and they are rose red spot which fade on pressure and it causes paralytic ileus. The next one is a very important topic that is syphilis. Syphilis is basically classified into primary syphilis, secondary syphilis, tertiary syphilis and congenital syphilis. In primary syphilis, it is basically a painless shanger and the punched out ulcer with the integrated edges. Secondary syphilis, it is maculopapular rash can be seen on the trunk region and condyloma lata, snail track ulcers and it is highly infectious stage. And the another important one clinical feature seen on the retina is salt pepper scar and in tertiary syphilis both the central, uh, central nervous system and cardiovascular system is affected and in cardiovascular system aortic aneurysm aortitis and aortic incompetence can be seen in neuro we can see that tabis dorsalis that affect the myelin sheet of the nerves in dorsal column of spinal cord and there will be meningeal involvement the next one is congenital syphilis in congenital syphilis you can see the hutchinson striat in that is the interstitial keratitis mulberry molar and notched incisor and you can see the clutton's joints radiographically there will be saddle noise sabre tibia regadus hyperplastic upper jaw frontal and parietal bone bossing and the another important finding is argyle robertson pupil that is the bilateral small pupil that constrict when a person focuses on near objects but do not constrict when exposed to light, bright light. And the next one is tuberculosis and it is caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis. And you can see the gaunt focus and gaunt complex in this disease. And gaunt focus is that is the subpleural focus in primary tubi that is the granuloma with the central caseation and the gons complex is actually it is gons focus plus involvement of a regional lymph node involvement and the screen test, uh, screen test we are going to use is mangos test and the direct extension of primary lesion is known as progressive primary tuberculosis and spread to the pleura will result in pleural effusion the blood bond spread causes 
miliary tuberculosis and the skin involvement in tb is known as scrofula that is it involves the skin and cervical lymph node and the next one is lupus vulgaris that is the cutaneous tb associated with the underlying active lesion and it is characterized by apple jelly nodules as seen in the picture when the tb affects the vertebrae it is known as pods disease and the leprosy can be classified into mainly two types one is tuberculoid and other one is lepromatous in tuberculoid you will have a restricted growth very high cell mediated immunity less severe and minimal amount of bacterial load but in lepromatous you can see a extensive spread due to pure cell mediated immunity and it is more severe and you can see a very high bacterial load in lepromatous leprosy and this leprosy is caused by mycobacterium leprosy and the next one is scarlet fever the bacteria called group a streptococcus or group a streptococcus uh, cause scarlet fever the bacteria sometimes make a poison which causes a rash that is a scarlet of the scarlet fever a diffuse erythematous rash blanching on pressure can occur and the another clinical feature you can see is the pastial lines they are the transverse red streaks in skin folds and the another oral finding is the strawberry tongue and it is very characteristic in scarlet fever and the next one is hiv in hiv it is classified into four groups and one is acute infection that is group 1 and group 2 that is asymptomatic and group 3 is persistent generalized lymphadenopathy and group 4 is that is constitutional neurologic secondary infection and neoplasm and the clinical features are you can see a very high uh, you can see fever uh, there will be lymphadenopathy and uh, there will be candidios candidiasis like that the next one is hepatitis actually this hepatitis is refers to a inflammatory condition of the liver and it is commonly caused by viral infection but there are other causes of hepatitis also they are drugs toxin alcohol and medications and it causes liver damage it has both parenteral or fecal oral route of transmission and this hepatitis is classified into a b c d e and this a and e are fecal oral b c d are parenteral when we are talking about the symptoms of hepatitis you can see itching jaundice encephalopathy ascites and palmar erythema and all can be seen in hepatitis so to conclude this infection is a major portion of medicine where you can expect a lot of question and you should be very thorough with this infection and you can see lot of questions coming from this section thank you